guys, so I am filming a couple videos today um, in the same outfit. So if you see a couple videos that have like this hair, makeup, and um, shirt on, I apologize. I'm just fil pre-filming a lot because my birthday's this weekend, and I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be wanting to film this weekend. Um, I probably will pre-film my fashion how-to for Sunday because that's the day after my birthday. It is my 21st birthday, so who knows what's going to happen with there. Um, I don't plan on drinking all that much. Um, I don't plan on like forgetting everything that happens and not remembering my birthday. I'm not that kind of person. Anyone can tell you that. But, um, yeah. So, I wanted to do a video on my most reached for beauty products. And I know it's not fashion related, but I thought I would do this anyway. And I actually forgot a couple products, so I have to grab those really fast. Okay, now I got those. Let's get started. I almost didn't want to do this tag, um, because... It seemed kind of like a favorites tag, like obviously these are fa your favorite products, but I decided to go through it anyway and do it. I don't really know why. Anyway, I don't know really where to get started. They're mainly beauty products. There's two, like skincare items. Um, I didn't want to do skincare skincare, so I kind of kept it what's in my beauty routine still. Not so much my skincare routine. So these two skincare products are kind of in my routine for my makeup. So I'll go ahead and start. So, sunscreen. Absolutely love my Neutrogena Dry Touch Sunblock. It has SPF 100 plus. Um, I know that I'm going to get a lot of people saying that you don't need that high of an SPF. It stops after 30. I don't know. I just grabbed it. I love it. I need to repurchase because mine's almost out. I love the sunscreen. I can basically put that on and I use it as a primer for my. Ooh, <laughs> I use I use that for a primer as my foundation. Sorry, I hit a bowl. If that was really really loud. If I even keep that in, I might edit that out. But anyway, I use that as a primer for my foundation, um, and then go through it, it dries like instantly. And then I use my Missed Opportunity by Mark, and this is a multitasking refresher. It's like a skin spray. It's kind of like Fix Plus, um, it's just a little spray sprayer. And um, I do this at the very end of my routine because I do set my foundation with a powder, but because I have dry skin, when I put on all the powder products with the blush and everything, I kind of lose the hydration in my skin, so I like to give my skin a spritz with the missed opportunity, and it kind of refreshes my skin and puts back a little bit of dewiness in there. Cause my foundation that I use is really dewy. I use the MAC Face and Body. It's really dewy. So I want to keep that, but then I set it with a powder, and then it kind of loses that, so that kind of puts it back in there. And then, let's see, I don't know where to go. I guess I'll just move on to makeup products. Actually, I'll go with lips. I have a couple lip products in here. The first one is the Strawberry Rosebud Lip Balm, and this has been in multiple favorites videos. It's just something I literally reach for every single night. I mainly use this in the nighttime. Um, I've explained it before. It's because I have to dip my finger in it. And I feel like it's a little bit more sanitary when I've already washed my face and my hands and my hands are clean. don't really trust my hands during the day when I'm at school and work and all that much. So, use that one at night. During the day, I use my Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm. It has SPF 25. This is in Lemon and Chamomile. You can't even see the label anymore. This label's really horrible. It comes off with like just rubbing it. It comes off really easily. But it's a great lip balm, smells amazing, it's just really good. The last one, is the, the last lip product that is, is a lipstick. That's my Revlon Soft Nude. I can literally just slather this on and go like a lip balm, and um, it kind of tones down the purpleness of my lips. I've been having, like, purple lips lately, and I don't know what that means, but um, I guess with my foundation, they're kind of contrasting a little bit, and they look really dark, and so I've been using that to kind of tone it down a little bit and keep them light, because I like my lips to look kind of lighter than um, the normal color of them. So I love that lipstick for that. And then, makeup. See, I don't even know where to start. Um, eyeliners. I have a couple eyeliners that I reach for every single day. I use both of these every single day. Let me know if you want an updated like eye makeup routine. I'll just do my skin. Nothing's changed really with that from my last everyday makeup routine, so I can go ahead and do, I have two eye looks that I do. I do this one, and then I do another one that I filmed, I probably wore it in some sort of video. I think it was in my last fashion how-to, um, the one with the Doc Martens. I wore it in there, so I can do my, you know, looks that I do. I do two, mainly, and they both involve these. The first one is the Cora's eyeliner pencil in black. I just love the Cora's eyeliners. They're so amazing. I just use this one every single day. I have multiples of these. The soft ones are really good too, but not for my purpose. I use this for my upper waterline 
tight line. I don't know if it's called tight lining your eye or if it's called the tight line, like the water line. I don't know. But anyway, it's for my upper rim. And then for my lower rim, I use my Stila Smudge Pot in black every single day. It's the only one that really has enough staying power for me, plus gel liners in general are a lot better with that. So I like to use that one. Then my base every single day, um, unless I do my second look. This is the one if I do this look. Every single day I use this without fail as my benefit. Creases Cream Eyeshadow slash Liner in Birthday Suit. I've used so much of this. It's almost gone. I love this. This is one of my favorite products of all time. I will continuously repurchase this. It is an amazing cream eyeshadow. Such staying power. Crease resistant. The color is amazing. I need to purchase more of these, but I'm still on my no makeup buying ban, so I can't really buy them yet. Once I take myself off that ban, which probably will be soon because I'm dying here, I'll probably purchase one, uh, another one of these. So I love that product. Then for cheeks, my most reach for blush right now is actually not a blush. It's more of a, I mean it is a blush technically, but it's more like a bronzer to me. I use it kind of like a bronzer through here, kind of a contour, um, and a little bit on the cheeks because it's kind of rosy enough to use on the cheeks where it doesn't look brown. So it's a Trace Gold by MAC. Just a blush. It's, it has a lot of shimmer in it. I also like to use this as an eyeshadow, as a transition color, and also blend it out at the bottom. Looks super pretty. Um, lately I've been doing more matte, except for today. But um, this one's really great as an eyeshadow as well. Especially on the brow bone to warm up the look. If you're doing a smoky eye, it works beautifully. Then I have my Cora's Mascara. And this is something I reach for a lot. Um, lately I've been mixing it with my mascaras because I still am working on my lash stash and I have a few open but I wait to use those and then I'll open a couple more so it takes me a while to go through them. But the Cora's Mascara in black, it's really lengthening, it's layerable, it's just a basic wand, nothing really fancy with that. But you can layer it, it's nice, it's really natural looking but you can kind of build it up since it is really easy to layer, you can build up the thickness of it, of the roots, makes your lashes really long. It's just a really good mascara. I don't know how much it is either, um, but it came in a set, that's why I have it. And then the last thing that I reach for every single day, literally every single day, is my MAC palette. And this is my favorite thing of all time. If there was a fire, I'd probably grab this, my 217 brush, and I'd be good to go. Because those, this and the 217 brush, I cannot fail. So... This is my custom made palette. It's really, really dirty. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to like, clean it up a little bit. But it's because I use it literally every day. These are my four eyeshadows that I can't live without. The highlight can be changed, interchanged. I can use Blanc Type. I can use Naked Lunch, Nylon. This one just happens to be the one I chose to keep in here for now because it's a more natural looking highlight, but I do change it out. So this is... I can't even think of it. Sorry, brulee. I couldn't even think of that. Brulee. This is satin taupe, but you can tell I have dug down in there. I finally hit pan. This is the first product I've hit pan on. First MAC eyeshadow. Isn't that exciting? Actually, not really the first product because I hit pan on um, my Benefit Some Kind of Gorgeous foundation, but that I use a lot of, so, you know, it's just in the wrong shade right now. That's why I haven't been using it. But, yeah, satin taupe, my favorite eyeshadow ever from MAC. If I had to suggest one eyeshadow to buy, it'd be satin taupe. You could do so much with it. It could be a crease color. It could be an all-over lid color. It looks really great under the lash line for a smoky look. It's amazing. Then I have Era from MAC. I forgot this one, too. Which is a satin finish. This, I believe, is a satin. This, I have no idea. I think it's a Velux Pearl or Frost. Not sure. I'll put an annotation correcting myself because I never remember this one. And then Carbon from MAC. Basic Black. This is just my favorite palette. It's so pretty to me. It's so gorgeous, and I'm thinking about, um, I think these make really good gifts to make your own MAC palette, so I'm thinking about making my friends um, a MAC palette for their birthdays. I think that'd be really cool. The ones that are, you know, into makeup and all that. I think it's a good gift. It's like 50 bucks, which is pretty expensive for, like, a best friend, I think. would be really cool. I can't stop looking at it, though. I use this every day because... I'm just so inspired by it when I look at it. It's just the most pretty palette ever. I still reach for my naked palette a lot, but mainly it's been that. So anyway, that is all the products that I reach for on an everyday basis. Well, not all the products, but those are mainly the ones that I reach for. Hopefully there are some new ones in there for you guys, as opposed to like my past favorites videos and that have been all the same. Um, I don't want to do another favorites video, but this kind of gives you an idea of my makeup routine in the morning, kind of the stuff that I like to use. 
um, and that whole thing. So please leave video responses. Feel free to do this tag and comment below, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.